division. That's what we're going to talk about today on Strength for Today. This is Tuesday, August the 12th. Bible study is today at 11. Visitation tonight at 6.30. Come out and join us. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 18 says this. The lot causeth contentions to cease, and parteth between the mighty. Verse 19. A brother offended is harder to be won than a strong city. And their contentions are like the bars of a castle. As long as there are people on earth, there will be disputes. That's just a fact. In ancient times when people were uh, at an impasse and neither side could come up uh, to terms to agree, they would cast lots and let the dice or the short stick settle the score or the issue. And each side would abide by the luck of the draw or the luck of the throw. And they would do this to keep arguments from escalating into an all-out war and an all-out fight. Some things are not worth shedding blood and dying for. They're just not worth that. Disputes can cause families to stop fellowshipping one with another and speaking for years. And sometimes the gap is never breached like the Hatfields and the McCoys. The Bible here says disputes can be uh, can cause people to build walls that are so high for years, and sometimes that gap uh, can never be broke down, and they're harder to break through than iron gates in the wall of a fortified city. Folks, it doesn't pay to offend the brethren. It doesn't pay to offend each other. It's easier to humble yourself in the day of the quarrel than to wait months and even years later when it's less likely anybody will ever humble themselves. Once stubbornness sets in, it's almost impossible to overcome. Romans 14, 12 says, So then every one of us shall give an account of himself to God. Let us not therefore judge one another any more. But uh, judge this rather, that no man put a stumbling block on an occasion to fall in his brother's way. I know and am persuaded by the Lord Jesus that there is nothing unclean in and of itself. But to him that esteemeth anything to be unclean, to him it is unclean. And if a brother be grieved with thy meat, thou walkest uh, now walkest thou not charitably, destroy not him and uh, thy mate for whom Christ died. Let not then your good be sp- evil spoken of, for the kingdom of God is like the meat and drink, but of righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. For he that in these things serveth Christ is acceptable to God and approved of men. Let us therefore follow after things which make for peace and things therewith may, that we may edify one another. For meat will destroy not the work of God. We need to encourage each other. And as we encourage each other, instead of quarreling with each other, it will be our strength for today and our hope for tomorrow.